Hey beautiful people, so I wanted to make a video about bankruptcy and how it's not going to raise your credit score. So a lot of people think that they can just bypass everything and just file for bankruptcy and that everything is just going to be A-OK, -okay. but that's not true. So when you file for bankruptcy, let's start off by saying this too, a lot of people file for bankruptcy when they shouldn't file for bankruptcy. Only time I suggest you file for bankruptcy is if you have assets or anything that they can take that you don't want them to take or say if you're going to get a garnishment and you're not getting any type of government assistance don't forget least in wisconsin if you're getting government assistance they cannot garnish you if you're to the point where you're in a um, poverty i almost can't even say poverty but if your income is not enough to the point where you're still in the poverty line if you're under the poverty line they cannot garnish you there now say if you're not in the garnish you're not in the poverty line but if they were to garnish you then you will be in a poverty line they cannot garnish you then too so keep that in mind when you think about offer oh, the file bankruptcy because they're going to garnish me no you're getting food stamps they can't garnish you no you're getting child care they cannot garnish you no you're getting some type of insurance they cannot garnish you and if they can garnish you then you should figure out how much is going to be or see if there's a way that you can even fight it a lot of people don't even fight the the things that they want to file bankruptcy because so that's just one little spill see if anything is going to really really hurt you to the point where you really need to file bankruptcy because them taking that money out your shake is really going to you know really break you down and hurt you now a lot of times people say oh what well, they're going to garnish me and i'm going to file bankruptcy okay if that's your decision think about it like this if they go ahead and if you file bankruptcy bankruptcy can drop your score like 100 points or more i see bankruptcy drop people 180 points so keep that in mind when you decide you know what i want to i want to go ahead and file bankruptcy and over here is chapter 7 and chapter 13 chapter 7 is when everything is all gone chapter 13 is where you have to make payments for three to five years. You have to make payments on all the debts you have. When I say everything is gone, everything except those student loans. So if you think, oh yeah, my student loans are gonna be gone. No, they're not. They're gonna still be there. That's not gonna be included in your, your bankruptcy. So not only is bankruptcy gonna drop your score at 100 points, 180 points, I want you guys to keep in mind that building your score back up and that bankruptcy gonna stop you for, for it's gonna stop you from so much so if you want to buy a house that's gonna stop you if you have a chapter 7 you gotta wait two years to buy a home chapter 30 you have to wait one year now it don't seem like a lot of time but think about it like this certain loan packages you just can't get so I know like with a convention I think you gotta wait like four to five years if you want to say if you want to get like a rental property you want to put 20% down that's something that you have to wait for at this point now because you filed bankruptcy like it really is gonna hurt you and limit the things that you can do and when you want to go get certain credit cards they're not want to give you those they're not going to want to give you those credit cards so let's figure out what you got to do too so say you like no Rikita, i don't really, i don't care i have to file bankruptcy like these accounts they have to come off my credit reports uh oh that's my assistant if you have to file bankruptcy and you need to build your credit score back up, let's think about it like this. All of them accounts that's on your credit reports, we have to get those removed. That's number one. We got to get those accounts removed. Now, before you decide to file bankruptcy, make sure you get a good bankruptcy attorney that they're not just throwing every account that's on your credit report into the bankruptcy, even if it's positive. Some attorneys, they throw every account in there you want to make sure that they're not doing that to you because if they throw the positive accounts in there too they're not going to want to give you an account again and if you can't get account with them again it's going to be like dude that was a good account like why would they you know it's it's going to hurt because certain 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 companies you want to stay with so I always tell my clients that Community Bank, they give you credit cards so easy. They look at your Equifax credit score. And if you have like the high limit credit cards with them and you you didn't mess up with them like the Alfion and say if you got the Smile Generation, those different credit cards. If you have those credit cards and they throw those into bankruptcy, that's going to really hurt you. Especially knowing that you probably don't have a balance on those. A lot of people never have a balance on that after I tell them to get it. That's going to really hurt you because now those companies don't want to give you lines of credit anymore. So make sure you keep that in mind. As soon as you throw a lot of these accounts in bankruptcy, they don't want to deal with you anymore in terms of giving you new lines. So you got to go with new companies. So, with that being said, you want to make sure your attorney don't throw all these different accounts in there because before you think about filing bankruptcy, 
and if you're not going to have any credit cards after this bankruptcy I want you to apply for two secure cards before you do your bankruptcy and the reason why I say before you do your bankruptcy is that way you can start getting the, the payment history reporting on top of getting that payment history reporting too when all those accounts go into bankruptcy it's going to drop your credit score but it's not going to drop it that much it may drop you like 50 points now because now you got these other positive accounts and when we go in to get those other accounts deleted you already have accounts already getting established now i always tell my clients to get two secure credit cards and then also too they have the they have the two five thousand dollar credit cards on my master credit card list definitely get those like that's a must like get those two credit cards sign up for kickoff.com k-i-k-o-f-f.com kickoff not with a C, so kickoff.com and sign up for self lender too. All of this should be in the description. All these different links should be in the description. And those are two secure two secure credit cards. And I have those in the description too. It's a two hundred dollar deposit you have to make. They'll send you two two hundred dollar credit cards. So sign up for those. That'd be two credit cards and the two five thousand. That'll give you four credit cards. I always want everybody to have four. So you say you just got four credit cards, and these companies don't care about your credit score. They don't care about all these different things. So it's easy for you to get them. So you have four credit cards, and then I told you to get two installments account, installment accounts. The so kickoff is an installment account, and then self lenders an installment account. Get these accounts, you will be fine if you have to go ahead and file bankruptcy. But keep this in mind too. We still got to get the bankruptcy deleted and all of those negative accounts deleted from your credit reports because they're really going to hurt you. A lot of people think, oh my gosh, I'm just going to file bankruptcy. Everything's going to fall off. No. Them accounts are going to stay on your bankruptcy and they're going to say included in bankruptcy or charged off in bankruptcy. And if it say that, it's just like them saying you never paid. It's still bad. Don't forget, a lot of companies don't want to give you credit after you have a bankruptcy because they figure, what are you doing with your finances to the point where you're not paying your bills to the point you have to file bankruptcy. So try to make this your last option. Like I said, try to see if they're going to be able to garnish you. Try to see if these different things are going to happen to you. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Go ahead and give me a call. And I will be able to help you guys. Bye-bye.